What is this, honey? <laughs> <laughs> the Grinch stole Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? It is time for Thanksgiving Struggle Plays. We do it every year. I am excited about this year because 2020 was a mess, and so are a lot of these plays. Like, you had even celebrities struggling to make decent food and I'm just like this ain't it honey but y'all know what it is we about to get into these plates please know that anytime you post any plate or any food on social media I'm going to see it or one of the J's are going to see it and I'm going to talk about it and drag it so it's no harm done don't be trying to figure out who sent your plate just know we finna drag it so the first plate is the Grinch stole Thanksgiving Somebody said this was avocado, I don't know if it was avocado toast with a, with a swing on it of a, a macaroni. Like, it's just not it. Like, I'm looking at this, like, I'm looking at it and it's just, I, I, I'm not sure if that is Parmesan cheese or breadcrumbs or something. I'm one of the people that I don't believe in breadcrumbs being on macaroni and cheese. I just, like, girl, no, ma'am, I don't want no breadcrumbs. It's already, like, mac, like, mac is essentially bread like it's pasta it's bread we don't need nothing on top of it give me some cheese so i can go all up and through there cheese all through the bitch shout out to aunt Thea. okay rest in peace but girl she would be disappointed because this ain't macaroni and cheese i don't know what it, it looked like the grinch actually took a shit and y'all used it for some maybe some cheese i don't know maybe y'all maybe this is a vegan mac and cheese because the vegan folks have been taking over for the 99 and 2000 but y'all won't be going into 2021 with me Moving on because it seems like y'all just, I don't know what this is and one of my followers actually posted this and I'm not sure what it is, if it's dressing, if it's macaroni and cheese, or it's <laughs> like, it's electric. Cause I can tell y'all probably cook this in an electric stove because it is just, it's just not cute. Like it just looks very, very dry. Um, I, like I think some food can look decent, but it tastes good. And it's just the, like, if you're going to take a picture, if you're going to take a picture of your food, it's got to look appetizing. Like, just don't post it. You can just not post it. But this, I don't know what it is. It looks like uh, a lot. It looks like an empty lot somewhere in Atlanta, and they're probably going to build some luxury apartments on it. Like, I just, it just looks very dry. Um, and it just, it looks like the desert. Like, it's giving me um, IOF teas. I, I just, I really can't do it. Oh, we've already two meals in, and y'all making me not want dessert. Sweet potato pie is my favorite. I saw y'all arguing, saying that sweet potato pie and pumpkin, whatever, is the same thing. No, it's not. One is colonized, one is not, okay? One is gentrified, and one is still standing, okay? Well, not standing, depending on what these pilgrims are doing this year. But this sweet potato pie, it looked like a pilgrim made it, um, because it's just... Even if it was seasoning and it has been burnt out, like it, like, and y'all got it next to the, it's like, did y'all make this in somebody, like, somebody's big restaurant or something like, girl, what, y'all got the, 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 um, <laughs> the commercial <laughs> saran wrap and food wrap and the food ain't even giving me commercial teas, like even, patty, this ain't even a patty pie, this is a natty pie. Um, or this probably is a niggas only pie. <laughs> this ain't no, this ain't no patty pie. This ain't no Negro pie. It's got to be a pilgrim pie. And, um, I, girl, I ain't gonna post your name on here, but please, let's not do it again. All right, somebody got a turkey leg or turkey wing or something. It looks like a pterodactyl's ankle. Um, some burnt cornbread. I don't know, a pig's ear and some potato salad look like somebody got bored cutting up the potatoes. Not feeling it at all. Um, the only thing I am feeling is who laughed this is probably sitting because these thighs are sitting. But girl, the greens, let's zoom in on the greens. Let's see what the, the greens are giving. The, the greens are probably giving us glory. Uh, glory, because after we get through eating it, we're going to be good and dead. The macaroni and cheese, disrespectful. Disrespectful, okay? What is this macro? That's why they ain't ate nothing because they don't know where to start. Because if you eat the turkey, you're going to die a slow death. If you eat the cornbread, you're going to choke. If you eat the pig's ear, you might turn into a pig. And if you eat the greens, you might start sizzling in the skillet. And the potato salad look like slop. And then you got this macaroni and cheese. 
It looks dry. It looks like the macaroni and cheese that we saw earlier. Like, I honestly would eat the vegan or whatever, the, um, the Grinch macaroni and cheese before I eat this one because it's just so dry. Disappointed, but not surprised. We got our favorite Real Housewives of Potomac sitting down with her Pilgrim family, um, Ashley Darby. Um, her brother is cute or whoever this sitting is with the glasses, but this food is giving the Pilgrims only food. <laughs> Girl, this is giving me banquet warm 99 cent dinners at Walmart. The corn, it's just, the corn is not, look at the corn sitting on an Ashley plate. And Ashley, like, girl, you've been giving me something. The mashed potatoes, she got it sitting in the bowl. Like, this is just, this is a very white Christmas. The green beans, look, they, they, they ain't even been cooked. Um, the only thing that's on here is the Corona. And I'm not talking about the Corona bottle. I'm talking about the Corona because it's sitting up in there because y'all invite folks who ain't supposed to be um, in y'all in y'all circle. I think this is fried chicken or turkey. It's cut in half. Uh, Michael, you know, looking like a, a true pilgrim himself, ready to spread disease. Uh, and even the baby is confused. God bless the baby. The baby is just confused too. Like, <laughs> he don't know what's going on too. We don't know. Let's zoom in. It's, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that a container? Baby, no ma'am. Is that Chick-fil-A sauce? <laughs> that is Chick-fil-A sauce. Don't ask me how I know because I don't eat Chick-fil-A. That's the devil's chicken. Uh, but that's Chick-fil-A sauce. The food is so bad that the black friend, <laughs> the black brother, whoever, had to go look in the cabinets for some sauce. That's how bad it is. Ashley, I don't believe you cooked it. I hope you don't. It's your daughter, Ashley. I hope you didn't cook this. I know Michael didn't. Y'all can find one of y'all black friends to pay for a day to go cook this. Like, girl, like, this this ain't it. Ashley, and she already smiling knowing it tastes like um, fried shoe. Oh, Charles. Charles is a person on Twitter who posted this video of this peach cobbler. I'm going to let y'all judge it for y'all selves. What's good, shorty? I just want to say that I love you more and more each day. Um, I'm glad that we can meet again. You always come back. I always react. And I just want to let you know that you're beautiful. Charles said this was peach cobbling. He said he was happy to see you. I ain't seen you in a minute. Um, this shit looked like boiled bread. <laughs> like, peach cobbler is not supposed to be sitting like that. It is, why is there so much... Like why? What is? Why is it so moist? Why is it coming up? Why it look like it just got through raining on in the desert? This peach cobbler, the crust ain't. I hope it's giving something, but it's not giving me something I can feel, something I can taste. Honestly, it's giving. I hope I have COVID so I won't taste this because it shit looks very dry. But wet at the same time, it's confusing me and my homegirls. Like I'm just looking at it, and like he just posted, and you can tell. Like, I liked it because I wanted to drag it so I can come back to it. But he posted, and it, it's been up uh, 20 hours. And it, had, it has, what, three three responses, a thousand views, and one retweet because it looks terrible. After 10 seconds, honestly, after five to 10 minutes, I would have deleted this picture and just act like I never did it. But y'all be so happy to show us that you went in the grocery store and bought some stuff and put some stuff in the pot and y'all want to make it seem like y'all know how to cook and it's just looking really, really bad. Now, I know we all, you know, we all here trying to make it work because COVID is out here, you know, running through our house like a crash dummy or whatever um, homegirl said. And I know we're trying to struggle to get some 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 decent food, but girl, this ain't it. Not the blue check Twitter. Y'all can do better. All right, let's get into this. I don't know what it is with y'all in this corn. I just don't like to see corn. I don't like to see kernel or whatever. I just like it. Just need, yeah, it, give me some cream of corn. Give me some cream of corn, but just corn just sitting right there. It's just not doing. Y'all might as well take it back like the pilgrims and just have corn on the cob. Like, I mean, it's coming out of can anyway or frozen. Y'all ain't out here doing no real stuff. Like, come on now. Now. I don't know if this is salami, and this is probably my probably like fifth time seeing this green um, Christmas tree type of dessert. It's like it's got mayonnaise or some type. I don't know. It's like green beans. Is it like green bean casserole or something? I don't know. I had green bean casserole. That's probably the only thing that the white folks know how to make decent. It's some green bean casserole. It was really, really cute. And oppression. Y'all really good at that, too. Um, I don't know what this is at the top. Is it macaroni and cheese? I don't know why the macaroni and cheese look like it's getting ready to jump out the plate for me. Um, this is giving that, uh, I don't know, maybe this was given out to people. Uh, maybe this was one of the college professors that said, hey, I got an extra, some extra plates and stuff so y'all ain't going home for holidays. I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm not sure what this is at the bottom. Maybe it's some turkey. 
We don't know. Maybe we find out next um, episode of Dragon Ball Z because it looked like the only person probably would eat it, eat it would be Goku. Moving on. I hate regular this year. Yeah. Uh, I hate <laughs> whatever this... This ain't even dressing. This is stuffing. Ooh! It looks so bad. It's too brown for me. It's too brown for me. So I don't know... Did y'all cook the cornbread too long? I like me a little light skin. A little red bone dressing. Like not too dark. Not too light. But just in between. This right here scared. It, it makes me feel like that it's gonna be like it's gonna be on the you ever ate something so bad it's on the back of your tongue. It's like you wanna scrape it out. This is what it looks like. It's too many it's too much green shit in there and it's too like it's supposed to be finely chopped. This ain't finely chopped, girl. It's just like they just did this and just threw it in there. Somebody need to get a better knife. The macaroni and cheese trying to help the dress now. That's why it's over here leaning over to the left. Oops, there goes that stuff and goes in the left. Can we get it together? Macaroni and cheese. She's not together for me. Um, I don't need my macaroni and cheese to be like a loaf of bread, but I definitely don't want it looking like a wackily flavorable in tube man or whatever. I don't want it to be falling all over the place, girl. It look, uh, what's going on? What else is it? Like the turkey. I think this is a turkey. The turkey looks decent. The mashed potatoes. Why would y'all even post this? It's like a dog was about to eat this. Like, it's just, why would y'all why take a picture of it? Don't nobody want to see this ugly ass plate? This ugly plate! Get it together. All right, this is looking like somebody that is on a special diet at um, a hospital because, baby, there's no seasoning throughout here. The dressing, if that is even dressing, where is the seasoning at? There is none. There's no seasoning, like at all. Like, it's just non-existent. Then we got the mashed potatoes. It's like some paprika on top of it. I'm confused. The macaroni and cheese. This cannot be no macaroni and cheese. You are not telling me this is macaroni and cheese. Zoom in on here. This ain't no macaroni and cheese. This must have, this got to be a child plate at Piccadilly. And you know, honestly, it would be disrespectful to Piccadilly because Piccadilly actually be having some good food. But baby, the broccoli, yeah, this is giving very much. I got um, a stomach condition and I cannot eat nothing with seasoning. So just boil all of my stuff. I'm just going to put it in the microwave and finish it all. Hold on. Is that a white hand I see? It, that explains it. <laughs> There's a white hand. If you look over to the left, I thought it was a piece of meat uh, that wasn't cooked. But it's actually a white hand, which is very... It, that's got to be a white... It's a white finger, too. It explains a lot for me. White folks, y'all... Y'all y'all don't know how to cook so bad that y'all actually put y'all food in glassware so you'll be able to see straight through it so you can see that it's some bullshit. Um, girl, <laughs> the only thing that's cute on here is the fork. And it's hiding between all the food. Girl, that's a booty hole. <laughs> girl, what? Girl, that's a booty hole. <laughs> girl, what is this? Girl, this is a booty hole. What is this? Why? 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 Y'all knew exactly what y'all was doing when y'all posted this. This actually looks like a, I mean, girl, it's actually, this is like somebody's um, unlocked pictures on Jack or Grinder or something. Like, it's a cute, I mean, she looked like if she sniffed a couple of poppers, it'll open up even more. But it's too much for, I mean, the, it's actually like, it's, I actually probably want to take it on a date, but I don't know if I want to eat it yet. Like, like, I don't know, it's, Hmm, I have so many questions for it. Like, is, is that how to use the restroom or something? Is it about to leave? Like, is it about to go somewhere? <laughs> like, is it is it prairie doggy? Like, <laughs> why looking like all the sense of mouth? Like, what's going on? I'm confused with that. Um, I, I, if I look at it anymore, I feel like I'm going to have to take it on a date. Let's move on. Now, baby, y'all talk about... Thanksgiving dinners. Let's get into my favorite. I'm not going to say that whole name. Robert, baby, I, after giving y'all all these struggle plates, I'm going to give y'all a good credit plate because, baby, this is all vegetarian. And I can tell after eating this, I think my credit going to jump up another 40 points. Okay? Like, this is giving me, and Robert, we know you got good credit. This this whole thing is it's, it's looking cute for me. It's the layout for me. I don't, what do you call this? Mushroom Wellington. Okay, this is cute. It's like a peel made it. We got collard greens. Macaroni and cheese. It's just the outline. It honestly looks like a background um, that you would use for a Christmas card or Thanksgiving card or something. 
Robert, you outdid yourself, girl. Ooh, I love Robert. He's so fine. Moving on, Robert. Good for you, boo. Oh! Somebody said that this turkey was looking like Ray Lewis on the football field, and I am out here screaming, baby. Um, this turkey luck is about to do the stanky leg. I'm really confused at how y'all got a turkey to stand up like that. There's this new thing what folks are doing where they, instead of folks laying in the casket, they had them sitting up when they come in for the funeral. Um, so I guess this is a turkey funeral she wants to see. Let me just do the stanky leg one more time. Hey, do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. Uh, but she looked like she need her back washed. <laughs> somebody get her, uh, like, like somebody get her, like, a something to, to scrape her back off. But this is really bothering me. Why is this turkey look like she said, uh-uh, girl, it's too high. I can't get the hell out of here. Girl, you ain't got no neck, so it's over. It's curtains for you, sis. I just lost two of my nails matching up this dress. If they die, they die. Girl, if they die, I mean, it probably won't be from the nail. It'll be from the dry ass dress. <laughs> girl, first of all, why is you making dressing with these type of nails and this finger? Like, well, not the finger, this this ring on. Like, what the? Like, y'all got to, like, I was watching this video the other day, and this girl was saying, her mama was saying, telling her, uh, girl, you don't cook without, you got to have something on your head. You got to come. That's what I believe. If you ain't got no bonnet on your head or nothing, you ain't covering your wig up while you're in the kitchen, you need to get the hell out. Um, and she need to have on gloves. Like, she got these damn cheap-ass fingernails in her damn hand, and she got rhinestones all on me. She out here playing the dressing. It's a no for me. It's a no for me, sis. It's a no for me. I don't know why she would even... Why would you do that? Like, why would you? So, the, the, I mean, the way this dressing is looking, the best thing, and, and then she got the cooking hands. So, I'm, I'm confused. She did two of her fingers that fell off. That's probably... Get that out of my face. Next case, please.